Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? We're watching Juice. Yes, with Tupac. Is it Tupac? It is. Okay. Tup Tupac is in this. Absolutely. Another one of these beautiful hood classics, guys. Let's go watch it there. Been recommended by some of you guys out there. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Yep, yeah, Tupac. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Quincy, get up! It's after 7 o'clock and you're gonna be late for school again! Oh, he's still in school. Yeah. Yo, you little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you to get your rusty butt up? I'm up, Pop. I'm up. I recognize that kid. He's from uh, Lean On Me. Hmm. There's Tupac. Mm hmm. Looking young there. Yeah, very young. Sheesh. Uh, no, he's not hungry. That's an awkward moment. Raheem, let me in the bathroom. How much you willing to give me to get in? I'm giving you shit. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> oh, you mean that wouldn't work back then? <laughs> nope. What kind of outfit is that? Only one he could fit in. <laughs> a cross between a sailor and a farmer. It just looks ridiculous now. It's like the worst drip I've ever seen. I need a real man right here. I'm not letting my child to grow up be fucked up like you and your stupid ass friends. I should have let you have her. Don't you remember? I let you have her. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, these guys are all talk. Yo, fish What you want? Hey, yo, 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 You think your shit is that bad, man? You got that much juice? You need to have respect for me. I was almost your father, but the line was too fucking long. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your peepee off, man. It doesn't take much to get them all riled up and talk even more, huh? No. Late, I feel good. I tell y'all why I'm really late. I was doing the hoochie coochie with Donna Broadway. Yeah, right. You could tell it was Donna from all that hair on her face, right? What? She used to be Donald. Oh, no. Donald, you know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all, man. Big hefty. Hey man, that's how you get caught in a lie, man. <laughs> yeah, they knew you were lying. Wrecking crew. What you want me to do? Here's old Sam L. Just because yeah. you post syrup on shit don't make it pancakes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's okay. true. What's up, sir? You got the fight tape for me, man? Being that we that in a recession and all, yo, the shit's gonna cost fifteen dollars instead of ten. Oh, you're a hustler, man. Come on. Oh, you could see was that number one thing, that butt. I don't even know why you thought that was so tough. Because she got the snapping nappy dug out. The snapping nappy dug out. Snapping nappy What? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Here they come. I don't know. What are they in trouble for? They tried to warn you. Yep. Uh-oh. You stuck? These guys know where they're going. I say you're you're going into a no way out situation here. Unless you're gonna hop across roofs. They might. All right, that's it. It's over. Let's go, guys. Oh! Oh! I guess that wasn't so bad. Yeah, yeah. The camera made it look worse. I know. Quick. Ooh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bad Whatever. You won't get away every time. No. Yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. what's up? What was that, school security? <laughs> really? So check this shit out, man. I'll tell y'all about this, man. Yo, this shit is mine. Word up. First prize is custom gold 1200. And a six-month contract to DJ at the Rough House. Hey, you should try it out then, man. He's got a plan. They been all over, man. Everybody know them. You're just local. Local? <laughs> You're still my favorite local DJ. Man's got a dream. Let him live it. What else you got to do? <laughs> Come on. Right. You're not going to go to school, so do something. Oh, I see what he's doing. Hiding records in the newspaper there. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your name and your phone number. Oh, my name and my number? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> anytime. Anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I check that newspaper? Sir, where are you going? You know what? She's got a point. Jesus. It's not cool to rip off a store like that. No. Jesus. Not at all, really, but... Where is, man? What's up, man? What's going on? It's Q. Yo, what's up, Q, man? Yo, when you got parole, man? 
Yo, man, I just got promoted the other day, man. Man, it's nice to see you, man. Yeah, pardon me for a second. I'm about to rob this place. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Everybody put your hands in the air and face the fucking ball. Okay, I was wondering why he's looking all around like that. Yeah, he was suspicious. Yeah. Everybody, strip. Oh. Take your fucking clothes off. Well. <laughs> that is not what I expected when he walked in there. No. Blizzard is in there right there. now. Sticking the place up. Nigga asked me if I wanted a piece of the action. And you said no? Hell yeah, I said no. Man. What is you crazy, yo? People are gonna get killed, potentially. Yeah. That crazy motherfucker's going down, and I make it for goddamn sure that none of us is going with That's right. Man, you know how much money is in there? It's set there. We are in there, man. Let's just. No, think correctly, man. Petty theft is one thing. That's. That's our other robbery, yeah. yeah. God just got out, too. He's habitual. <laughs> Wasn't that his baby, baby mom over there? Let it go, man. Let it go. You made a mistake too, okay? Yep. Oh shit, it's Blizzard. A gunman was killed he got, in a shootout with police. He got killed. The gunman identified as 20-year-old Barnett Jenkins wounded two officers before he himself was killed. You could have been there with him. Yeah. I'd say your buddy uh, saved your ass then. Mm -hmm. We went from the cops. We went from Rodimaz. We went from security guards. We went from old man quills in this fucking bullshit store when he come with that bullshit gun. People will shoot you if you don't. You gotta be ready to go down, stand up, and die for that shit like Blizzard did if you want some juice. Blizzard ain't sticking up to nothing now. If we was there, if we was there, it'd be five that niggas instead of one. Yes. Yes. You gotta snap some collars and let them motherfuckers know you had to take them out anytime you feel like it. You gotta get the ground beneath your feet, partner. This is stupid advice. It really is. Where's all this anger coming from? I don't know. You fucked up, man. Turn your fucking back on me, nigga. Turn your fucking back, man. All right, that's it. I want you and Q to settle this shit right now. You're like brothers. I think y'all owe some uh, apologies to this man's family. Yeah. Messing his house up. A good job, Raheem, handling the situation. Why was this necessary? Why are you getting all hot about it? You lived, the other guy didn't. I feel like he's got a bad situation at home, and it's eating at him. There's an interesting dynamic there between him and his father, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, either. What? Uh, how you doing? Is Yolanda there? Who the hell answers a damn door like that? <laughs> Have a seat. I'm just cleaning out some of Frank's things. Um, Frank Q. Q. Frank. Cleaning out some of Frank's things? What is he, the ex? Who is this kid, and what is he doing here? Oh, please, Frank, don't you think it's a little late to try acting like a husband now? Look. Oh, okay. Bye. Look, I just wanted to tell you what's up for your own good. Bye, Frank. Well, I can't, I can't express concern. Sure what? <laughs> good lord. This guy is aggressive for no reason. So your boyfriend is over while you're kicking out your ex-husband? Wish I could spend the night. It would be nice. Sleep all day. Is it Frank might be knocking on your door all the time. <laughs> oh, God. She's over here robbing the cradle. I don't think he minds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does either. Good. For what I know. Not exactly a DJ, but it sounds good to me. Yeah. Now you should be proud of your boy. He's found something he likes to do. He ain't no amateur. No. And he keeps him off the street from getting in trouble all, all hours of the night. Right. What's wrong with my mix? From... Look, the shit is totally sloppy. Only a fool would open up the way you do. Fuck you! Well, you might have a chance if that shit wasn't so small. <laughs> Damn, that, that does sound cool. Mm-hmm. Make takes for my boys, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you local. Mmm, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I see you Saturday night. That's cool. By the way, what is your name? What do you go by? GQ. GQ, come on. Sounds like so original, though. <laughs> it works for his because his name is Quincy, but yeah. Right. I made that DJ contest Saturday night, you know what I'm saying? Once again, it's on. Sticking up old man cooler Saturday night. What? Doing actual armed robbery? Come on, guys. Mm. Oh, shit. Old man Quillis is not going to draw on somebody that got a gun on him. The other guy got shot for shit like this, man. Mm-hmm. I got a DJ Saturday night, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to miss that for nobody. That'll give us an opportunity to go in. Do what we gotta do in jet. Yeah, screw these guys. Don't do it. Yeah, just don't show up. I hold on to the gun. Why should he hold on to the gun? Because I already got it, motherfucker. Just let him hold the gun, man. I don't think I want him holding the gun. 
Everybody in the house is welcome to the Mix Master Massacre, the ultimate DJ battle of world supremacy. You could see 90s all over this thing. <laughs> Jesus. Hell, just by the dance moves, mm -hmm. really. From uptown, we have the challenger, DJ GQ. All right, come on. He got the crowd into it. Yep. Actually trying to entertain, not just throw really fast spins. Right. The other guy was too technical. He's actually trying to make a decent sound. Yeah. GQ! That a boy. Absolutely. Start making a good name for yourself there, right? Yeah, he knows what's next. We're goddamn waiting on you. Come on. No congratulations, nothing. Some friends you are. Old man Quillez is in there by himself. Let's do this. Isn't this the guy you were, who like came out and said he's gonna threaten to shoot you in the pee pee or whatever? Mm hmm. You know he's got a gun. Hey, we're close. Turn around, hit the shoot, wall, quick! Please don't shoot. Please. Turn around, don't motherfucker! Don't I don't see nothing. This is stupid. Please don't shoot me, alright? Let's go! Better hurry. Get out there. Oh, well, come on. Why? That was totally unnecessary. Pat it with this bullshit. You got what you wanted. You could have left in peace, but no. He wanted to hold the gun. As I said, I didn't feel comfortable with him holding a gun. No. Guy came out and saved your ass, too. You didn't have to shoot him, man. You made a move. He's lying, man. I was looking right at you. Yo, man, he's dead, isn't he? Hell yeah, he's dead. Yo, Bishop, man, give me the peace. I'm holding on to this till I say so. I'm not playing. What the hell, man? Stop this shit, man! Chill, man. Guys, wake it up. Oh, oh shit! No, 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 no. Y'all need to ditch this guy and cut your losses. Let him take the fall for the whole thing. <laughs> Live with it, you piece of shit. There's two of these movies we've seen now where they just kill the freaking owner of the store. I don't know what this guy's problem is. That was their. That was everybody's friend, man. Yeah. You can keep it, man. Jesus. You going crazy, B? Don't you ever fucking call me crazy again? I'll blow your fucking brains out. He's gone nuts. He has. I warned him. You saw that? I told him, man. He had no business grabbing the gun like that. Your logic is all messed up. If anybody ask about Raheem. We don't know. We ain't seen him. They're gonna trace those bullets back to that gun, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking stupid, man. You need to... You know what? Fine. No, I hope, I hope you get caught. Well, why are you hiding the gun now? That's what Raheem was trying to do in the first place. You yeah. killed him for it. So you just died for nothing? Yeah. Fuck that! You are brothers! How do you perform after that? I'm Detective Markham. It's Detective Kelly. We want to ask you boys some questions. Would you come to me, please? Hey, you dumped him in an alleyway. Somebody was going to find him. Well, so much for the contest. When was the last time you saw Raheem Porter breathing? Tonight at the club. What time? About an hour or two before Q was set up. Where did he go after you last saw him? Well, he was talking to a girl, clocking the hose. Mm -hmm. And then keeping the story straight. I don't think they had a story. We know you got popped for boosting the kill at the store last June. Yes or no? Mom. Yes or no? Yes. This guy's got every chance of just like folding. If he was smart, he would. They know he's the weakest one here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We three niggas in a police station. Doesn't matter what happened. If y'all want us to be guilty, we'll be guilty. If you didn't do nothing, then you got nothing to worry about. He did something, but not that. Yeah. I tried to get a kid, too. She actually liked him still. Okay. How you doing? Well, under the circumstances, I'm all right. I feel like I gotta stay strong for Ma, though. She... Whole damn family's been torn apart here. Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Roland. 
How you doing? I should be asking you that. Remember me, Miss Porter? Yes. Berlin, thanks for coming. My was one of my best friends. How dare you? You should make things worse when they find out it was you. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Turn yourself in. Yeah. The world won't let you get away with it, man. Oh, Jesus, of course he was going to be there. I ain't seen in a couple of days. What's been happening? Don't you ever pull a gun on me again in your life. Just try me if you think I'm bullshit. The brother finally decides to stand up like a man and throw down. Too bad Raheem had to die first, huh? Jesus. He's got no remorse. No, he's cold-blooded. Crazy, man. You right. I am crazy. Look, I ain't shit. I ain't never gonna be shit. And you less of a man than me, so as soon as I decide that you ain't gonna be shit, <coughs> God dang, man. He's gone off the deep end. Yeah. The man's a menace to society. Yo! Yo! Fuck off! It's the idea telling the cop. I killed Raheem. You've been asking for an ass kicker for a long time. No, man, let no. him die. There you go. <laughs> let him deal with his own problems. Oh. Must have missed that. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. 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 O
you killed Raheem. Come on, Trip. You know me since I was a kid. I known a lot of killers since they was kids. Mm, that's unfortunate. Damn. I want him to meet me tonight alone, 125th Street, by the Henry Hudson. Well, thanks a lot, man. No, he wants money. <laughs> what is, what's in this for me? That's all I got, G. A dollar? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really are falling on all hard times right now. Don't you dare throw that away. Oh, for God's sake. Well, how are you going to resolve this now? With your fists? Well, if this guy survives, he'll be able to point the finger. Yeah, he can nail Bishop. Well, she knows who he is. What happened? Bishop shot me. He shot everybody. He's trying to frame Q. There we go. All, all them doctors heard that. Mm-hmm. They all come out of them shadows. Yep. Yeah. Jesus. This guy's turned into a damn monster. It's like Jason Voorhees back there. What's up, partner? Heard you caught the piece from sweets today. I ain't come out here for that, chick. You got it wrong. See, this is your gun, Q. You was coming to get me. Just like you got Raheem, Rodimaz, Quillaz, and Steel. You've already been given up, man. Yeah. You ready to die, nigga? Are you ready to die? There we go. Fight it out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I keep getting bullets for this gun. It's just like an endless supply coming out of that Roscoe. I mean, he's got money. I guess he can buy more bullets. <laughs> All he's doing is just <laughs> buying bullets, but it should have been empty by now. <laughs> it's a continuity area, okay? He's been hit. Yep. There's a lot of people in one elevator. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> just gonna stand there, stand there, everybody. <laughs> Dude, you are nuts. Dude, shoot me in the elevator? Oh. He was going too. He made his way out. Had to get out. Oh, he got behind him. Yeah. Good job. There we go. <laughs> Good job. He's got nothing now. Oh, I could just kill him, man. He's in there somewhere. He just leave. She's right there. You're just gonna chase him all the way through this, huh? Just chase him all across town. Don't do it, man. Just go to the cops. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. Not the poor pigeons. Oh no, they were inside, weren't they? Boy, the guy can't actually fight worth the shit. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of these guys, they're all talk. Oh. Oh. That hurt. Don't let me go! I got you, Bishop, man. Come on, hold on. What? Q, don't let me go! Let him go. Oh, no. He just falls into the darkness. Bishop! Guy was trying to kill you. Didn't even hear him hit the ground. Yo. You got the juice now, man. Who cares about the juice? Exactly. Just his way of saying you got that street cred now, I think, you know? I guess. He didn't need it. <laughs> How did it come to this, man? Jesus. So things just fell apart? Yeah. So I guess we don't get justice there, then. Okay. Nope. Just... Bishop's just... gone. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You may not have an answer for this, mm -hmm. but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Why, why the senseless killing? Well, I think we kind of pointed it out in the video. It seemed to me like he was going crazy. It was. I mean, but whatever problem we, you know, you had uh, originally thought he had, mm -hmm. they never went back to it. No, which so. I thought was a missed opportunity there because obviously there was something going wrong in his family. You could see it in the way that he interacted with his, with his dad, but they never really took the time to explain it. You know, we heard some glimpses about his father having been in prison. So obviously he doesn't have the best father figure in his life. 
but then how it goes from that to you know him just becoming a psychotic killer who knows yeah it, it, there's really no clear pathway there that's horrible you know yeah it's like you know all in the midst of in the span of minutes after a dj contest mm -hmm. or during a dj contest you hold that just falls apart all of it yeah you just completely go off the rails and you never come back mm -hmm. at all. You, you just keep getting worse to the point where you want to silence everybody so that you get away with it. It's like, I don't know what going through your head right. that makes you think you're going to get away with this at all. But still. It's, it's weird too because, you know, we've been watching several movies like this one. And in each case, you've had your bad guys, but they've been in like different forms, right? So like in Boys to the Hood. Boys in the Hood, yeah. Yeah, Boys in the Hood, the guys were, you know, Mostly good guys, but they hung out in a bad neighborhood and bad things ended up happening to them. In Ministry Society, the guys were just bad. You know, they had no remorse for what they did. They just kind of went out there and did what they wanted to, and, you know, nobody seemed to care. Right. And then we get to this one, and it's like, you know, these are decent guys. I mean, they still commit some petty crimes, but they're overall, like, not horrible people. But then you have one member who just goes off the deep end and just becomes a psychotic killer. It's kind of an interesting view of how all this stuff comes about in the hood. I guess so, right? Yeah. But it's still not something you and I will ever understand, you know? Because we didn't grow up in this kind of environment. Right. I didn't grow up in this kind of environment. I mean, so, I mean in a way, you could almost say that Bishop was really more of a... Uh, an outlier, really. But no, I mean, really more, more of a serial killer Yeah. Than a, than a gangster, like some of these other guys were. Because he liked it. Yeah, they had their own little crew there, but for the most part, you know, they were doing, you know, boyish pranks, you know, it's still crime, but, you know, it's stuff that a lot of people do as kids. You know, what he did, there was just no rhyme or reason to it. But, like, man, he, he turned into a horrific monster mm -hmm. in this thing. Like, just, you know, just the idea that, uh, like, take Q when he's sitting there waiting on him. You know, it's like guy comes at him from in the shadows there. Yeah. What a way to do that for him, because that's who he is, you know? Yeah. He's a monster hiding in the dark. Yeah. I mean, he's sitting there trying to say, hey, I'm, I'm the tough guy now. I'm standing up for myself. But really, he's being manipulative. He's being secret in the way that he does things. He's trying to, you know, threaten his friends and doing what he wants. He's really doing anything except showing himself to be a brave and upfront kind of person. That's what I think. Yeah. I don't know, man. Poor Raheem, though. I wish I wouldn't have robbed this guy. Right. This convenience store. Like, you could have just stayed at this DJ contest, had a good night, let this guy probably win, because it looked like he had himself a future there. You're doing great. Yeah, he probably could have won that thing and had himself a future. Well, the thing is, too, Raheem made the point, you know, we need an alibi for what happens. Well, you guys were seen at the at the DJ event. You could say, yeah, we were just hanging out at the event and, and call it a night, and as long as Q was there, you guys probably would have been solid because he would have he could have testified for you that yeah, I saw them out there in the crowd doing you know whatever. The fact that you took him with you, not only did you ruin his life, but you kind of ruined your own alibi too. Exactly. And one of y'all didn't come back. Yeah. You all left together and one of you didn't come back. I don't know what you thought was gonna happen there. Right. So yeah, the police were gonna sniff you out like that. I mean, everybody knows who you hang out with, it's pretty obvious. The reasoning that goes through some some folks' heads sometimes, I don't get it. Like, yeah. yeah, doesn't matter where they're from, but overall, I mean, a good cast there. Tupac really acted that out well. I was scared. I, he had me scared of him. So, oh, yeah, he, he had a very good psychotic look to him. Yeah. Of course, Omar Epps, you know, he's a good actor. I've seen him a bunch of other stuff. I've seen him lots of things, yeah. Yeah, they, they all did a really good job. I gotta say, Samuel L. was running the shadiest arcade there I've ever seen. He didn't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> And he's always, he's always like going after, what do you say, going after that P-Funk there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> like, man, why don't you focus on your job there? <laughs> so be it, whatever. But Look, dude, it's an arcade. All I got to do is stick quarters in the machine and it takes care of itself. Right. Not everything that happens in the hood is a bad thing. Sometimes it's just folks getting by. Right. But sometimes it's that. And sometimes, you know, bad things happen to good people. Yeah. And that's kind of what we saw here. Those are the ones I feel bad for, the ones that whose lives and families are affected by it. Yeah. So, Definitely. I like your point, too. Is there really any justice there at the end? Because Bishop's kind of just dead. I don't think anybody's going to tell that Q was the one who did it, but at the same time, what happens to Q from that point? Right. But, I mean, he had Steele in the hospital, you know, testifying, you know, in front of the doctors there, giving up giving up Bishop, 
I thought for sure the cops would get him. Well, they gotta find him first is the thing. You gotta make sure that Yolanda gets it to the cops. The cops could go find him. It's the middle of the night. Nobody knows where this guy is. They probably wouldn't find him during the day. I say they could they couldn't hunt him down when they knew where they were. Yeah, that's a good point, so. I don't know. It's I guess it's a left up to your interpretation there. In the end, the uh, the bad guy is gone. He's no longer a threat to you. Yeah. But you have to imagine there's still some more consequences there for these guys. Yeah. But I mean you got you got Bishop there while he's hanging on for dear life, mm -hmm. screaming to his friend, Don't let me go. And I'm like, you've been trying to kill him all damn night. <laughs> and you and you tried to kill Steel, too. As soon as he pulls you up, you're probably just going to push him over the edge. You're better off just dropping him. Exactly. I don't know, but, you know, you just slipped. <laughs> like uh, like Jack Nicholson right through Michael Keaton's fingers. Mm. In Batman. I was thinking Elsa from any uh, general, but that works, too. Oh, well, there's that, yeah. <laughs> so, however it looks for you, fam, he slipped. The fam, tell us what you think. And, of course, if there's classics like such movie that we have here... Let us know what you what you would want us to watch, guys, in the future. Uh, we're all ears. I can tell you, now that we've watched this movie, we're on to finally go on to another title here soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna watch "Don't Be a Menace" next, uh, in terms of in terms of a good hood classic there, because it's got all the titles in it. So, mm. yeah. But by all means, let us know what you want us to watch. But as always, if you're brand new, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoy the video, leave a like and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us peace of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.